Hello all. Today we're going to take a look at Warp's Edge. This is part of the Solo Hero series from Renegade Games, a game by uh, Scott Alms. A uh, little bit different, not a war game today. Let's take a look at the back of the box. Don't know much about this game other than its space and it is a bag builder type of game instead of a deck builder. I think you're putting uh, tokens in a bag, pulling tokens out, and uh, fighting um, adversaries. And you have different ships that you can pick, and you have different adversaries that you can fight. So let's see what you get in the box here. This was a Kickstarter. I did not, I just picked it up at my friendly local gaming store. And so it was not part of the Kickstarter, but I think the Kickstarter had an expansion that, that you could get with it and uh, upgraded tokens. So the first thing you get is, and this is, I think, like a choose your own adventure book. You can play through this and then how it results sets up maybe your first game. Not sure about that, but I think that's the way it is. So. You get a little bit of choose your own adventure right there on the bat, uh, right out of the box. You get a rule book. It's uh, you know not a huge rule book, the size of my hand there. You have a player aid on the back and explaining what tokens. Again, this is a token builder game, so there's tokens are very important. Um, so the full color talks about the components. There's your ship, or at least one of the ships. There's the motherships. There's different uh, mothership uh, or adversary dashboards. Your token holders for game storage. Talks about game setup. Victory and defeat. And these certain tokens have like the word power, you know, denoted on the back. I mean, that's, uh, I think I'll be able to show you kind of how that works. So uh, basically the rules in around page 18. We have some glossary and some notes about the motherships and some, some graphics in there. And then of course the uh, player aid. Advertisement for some of the other games. Then you have the punch boards and this is a pretty good size. You know, it's medium size cardboard there. So you have your tokens, and then you have your different ships, and the ships are double-sided, so you can have a different selection of ship. And you basically have your um, uh, hull and, I believe, shields. And when they go down, when your hull gets down to, to nothing, uh, you lose the game. Again, more tokens, and then, again, double-sided ship cards, more tokens. Then you get the motherships that you fight and there's different warps up here and I think the, that uh, you'll have several rounds I guess in a, in a warp but then when the warp gets to, to the end uh, game's over you lose so if your ship gets destroyed you lose if the warp gets to the end you lose um, there might be some other ways that you lose I think the only way you win though is by taking out the mothership and the motherships are double sided Oh, look at that. Okay. And this is kind of cool. So if you look at this little storage here, um, get that out of there. Nice container there to, to store the um, to store the tokens. And and they use this in game. You know, it shows you their cost and energy and everything, and then sort it out by the tokens. So that that's kind of cool. So you got two of those, two of those trays. It's pretty nice. Okay, uh, you get a really nice token bag because this is a game that you're using the bag a lot. You're going to be putting tokens in and pulling them out. So a pretty nice little token bag there. Okay, a bag of bags. I don't know why you need the bag of bags, but you get a bag of bags. Uh, and there's also storage in here for the token. If you see the power there, so certain tokens are delineated, goes in those slots or go in those slots. Then you have your cards, deck of cards that are the... I think there's like some upgrades for your ship, and then there's the enemy, that's, that's the enemy fighter that you fight, and uh, I believe it's like it's um, 
attack and maneuverability of what you need to do to defeat it and then what it does to you. Again, I just learned about this game yesterday and then ended up picking it up today. Uh, and then um, your markers for the board, pretty small, but little, and there's uh, screen printed markers on there. So that's what you get in the box. Um, pretty nice, uh, really nice. I like the storage and the way that that's all uh, marked up out there. Um, so that's what you get in the box. Uh, this is a solo game. Uh, you probably, there might be rules to play it cooperatively. Not sure about that, but it, it's designed to be a, uh, a solo game and a, and a bag builder at that. Those are relatively uh, unique. So anyway, uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, if you like it, make comments, subscribe, like, appreciate anything you may, might say. Thanks. Bye.